All right, so something unique with my Volkswagen Mark 7 GTI that is only available in Canada and Europe, as far as I know, is dynamic light assist. So if you can see in there, there's a camera and it's always watching the road. And when it's nighttime, you can flick the stock and then it can go into automatic high beam, low beam. So let me show you how that works. So you see this A that's on the headlight indicator? When the road becomes clear enough, then the high beams will turn on all by themselves. I slow down a bit. As soon as I lose him, then it should automatically put my high beams on. There we go. And then I'll come up over the crest, it'll see the car, and high beam turned off. So whenever you approach any kind of overhead lighting, or any kind of traffic signals, or any approaching, or um, any cars that you're approaching, or that are approaching you, it'll automatically dim. So right now, it'll probably kick on high beam, but it actually didn't because it can see that those two red lights up there, there's a car up there, and it's pretty far, like it can see a long way. I really wish that I could see what that camera sees and also that I could use it as a dash cam. That would be awesome. Volkswagen, make that happen. It's impressive. It's almost quicker than I would be to turn on and off the high beams. So I've had very few false positives where it seems to have a very wide field of view and a very far field of view and it's very uh, light sensitive. Okay, so this one's always interesting to me. Approaching a bend, no cars in view, and now a auto high beam just kicked on. This car, auto, auto high beam just turned up. Anyway, it seems like a gimmick, but it's actually pretty damn convenient once you get used to it. Not having to constantly flick your stock on and off for every time the car is approaching or passing you. It's, uh, it's a nice little extra feature, and it's something that is not available in the USA. And in Europe, it's even more advanced where instead of it actually dimming in a normal like dumb high-low, it can carve out around the car. So you can keep your high beams everywhere except where it will block out, selectively track and block out objects. Now, that won't come to Canada anytime soon because our regulations don't allow it. But someday, if they ever change the headlight rules, we might get some cool stuff like that. Okay, the car's going to go out of view in a second. gone like if it senses any little red light in the distance it will not turn on your high beam now you can override it now there's a car approaching I'm not going to do it but if I wanted to I could turn my high beams on myself there go. high beams just turned on by themselves clear field of view no cars in sight even though there's that reflective pole over there it, it it's sophisticated enough to know that that's nothing that would be a problem and now it's going to see that car immediately went low beams off or high beams off it's really cool. It's cool technology. Whoa, big transport turning in. Jeepers, bud. Get in your lane. Holy cow. You didn't have to make that one. Holy shit. Some people just hate that I have the Byzeons, and they'll flash me anyway. Even though I have my low beams on, sometimes I just feel like my headlights are way too harsh, and I do get high beams more often than I would like. I also have them tipped down from stock. Normally they're a couple inches higher than this, but I was getting high beams way too uh, often, so I did dip them down even more. When I first got the car, I said, hey, people are high beaming me all the time. And they went and they checked, and they said, oh, they're aimed perfectly. Well, okay, well. I guess they're just too bright. People don't like how bright the, Z, the high intensity discharge Xeons are, even though they're in a factory regulated housing and, and fully legal. Whoa, that car's on my side of the road. What is happening here? Why is that car on my side of the road? Delivering papers? Oh my goodness.
See that high and low around the corner? Car went by, highs went on, saw another car, went off all by itself. That's all fully dynamic light assist.